Hey there, it's Kimberly here with Knit for Brains. One of our last podcasts before we head out of town, we're going to be looking at some more granny squares and some whips that I finished, so stay tuned. Hey there, it's Kimberly here with Knit for Brains. If you are just joining our channel, thank you so much. If you just subscribed, thank you. We've been waiting for you. We've been holding out waiting for you. Thanks so much for joining us. So today, I want to go through some more granny squares that we've received in the mail. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Boom. Mm. Boom. Mm. And I finished the sweater that I'm making for my brother-in-law. And the Brit, you're going to get to see in person, he's going to be doing a little bit of modeling. Yay. All right. So first, let's dig into these granny squares. If you don't know what we're talking about, we've been talking about this for the last mm, four to six weeks. Check out one of our other videos about Project Welcome Home. You can see what we're talking about. If you want to join in, all the information is in the notes. Very easy. Here is all the granny squares are piling up. And we are making granny square blankets as fast as the little fingers can go. <laughs> okay. First one, this one comes to us from Deva Frank from Festus, Missouri. Thank you, Deva. All right. And let's see. How do I open this little baby? So we are going on a trip. The Brit, my mother, and I are heading across the pond. We live in the United States, so across the pond for us is going to be the UK. Ugh, there's got to be an easier way to tuck into these, right? Isn't there like a little easy tab somewhere? Mm. Come on, U.S. Postal Service. Don't you do that? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's a good thing I'm working out. Ugh. All right. So we're heading across the pond. And we are going to... We're starting in Ireland, making our way through Ireland, not up into Northern Ireland, just staying down in the southern part. And then we're going over into Scotland, and then we're heading over into the UK. For those of you that want to, oh my God, I'm excited already. Mm. For those of you that are interested in donating squares, but don't want to send them across the pond because they're expensive, and Lord, do I understand that. Um, I am in touch with a yarn store in uh, the Cotswolds where we're going to be staying at the end of our trip and I'm trying to see if I can use them as a destination that you could mail your squares to. I will personally pick them up. Of course we're going to go live because mm, right um, and then we'll bring them back. So stay tuned. That's going to be in the notes or we're going to make it live. If I'm able to make that happen I will keep you posted and let you know. This is what we got. So let's jump into this first of all and it's a card to me so I know I can open it. I love pineapples and I love pink. You ever seen that phrase, be like a pineapple and wear a crown? That's why I love pineapples. Kimberly, I hope these help. There should be enough for a small blanket here. Deva. Thank you, Deva. I am so grateful. And these little cards um, or the name, whoever made these, go with the blanket. So you all are getting the credit. Thank you for packing them in plastic, by the way, for protecting them. These are beautiful. I love the colors. Oh, see, okay, here's what I love. Y'all are getting so creative. It's not just a granny square, which would be fine. Come on, look at the spirals. Do you know, I have always wanted to do a spiral and they never can't, I never really spent that much time doing it. These are gorgeous. Yes, oh my gosh, they're all different spirals. Purples and greens, grays and greens. There's some greens over here. Beautiful. Deva, you guys are amazing. And my mom and I are going to be making squares and working on this project on our trip, just so you know. We're packing yarn. Uh, I suppose we could pack squares as well. Um, those are beautiful. I love purple and green. Two of my favorite colors together love them they just to me just scream royalty look how beautiful those are together oh deva love these more purple and green and then here's just some really nice solids so yes i love oh, oh okay thank you for doing this she already attached these to show like this is how it's going to go together yes i absolutely see this what we're going to do is we're going to alternate the colors because there's some like this guy here 
when it attached to this guy here, right? Like, like this, like so, boom. And then what I would probably do is I could even tie in like this purple here. See like that, how that goes? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be gorgeous. Yes, I see your vision and I promise you that I'm going to carry through. I know exactly what you're doing here and I will take over. See, here's the pale blue that's gonna be tying into some of the pale blues in these guys. Love it. Here's the darker blue that's gonna be tying into some of the darker blues that I see like on this one. Mm, mm, mm. You know how happy these guys are gonna be? Love, love, love. Oh my God, David, these are gorgeous. I'm so excited to be doing this project. I love that we can like collaborate together and do these amazing, beautiful things. And then she did these sweet little squares here. Love these colors. Love the colors you guys have chosen. I'm getting bright pinks. I'm getting like fall colors, autumn colors. I'm getting absolutely everything. So when we present these to my folks, to our peeps uh, in December, I'm working with um, the lifestyle enrichment director and the head of the... Um, facility and I think we're going to try to make it a big deal maybe have like some cookies and tea and all that kind of stuff and we're going to hopefully they're going to have they always put like a Christmas tree up and a menorah they do the whole you know celebration of the holidays of the season so we're going to make it like a big deal love these Deva I see I see your vision I absolutely see your vision thank you so much and it's not just one bag it was two bags here's more I love these spirals. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. And I do have the colors to make this work. I have this pale gray. I've got some really nice blue, this one here. I've got some really pretty purple. So I've got what I need to sew these together and make them work. And if I don't, I'll just, I'll just go buy it. I ain't got to, you all know, I ain't got no problem with buying stuff. Beautiful, gorgeous, and I love, sometimes simpler is better. I love just the straight up solid granny square. I love that. Love these colors. I have some of this color. Oh, you guys, that's beautiful. And that just really, this popping in with this, that solid just gives it that just beautiful kind of an, for me, it goes elegant. Love it. Oh, you guys. Yes, this is enough, Deva. You're amazing. You're so generous. Love them. I got to show all of them because you guys put in so much time and work. And, you know, this is the hard part. Joining them is, for me, the fun because you see the art come together. But this is the hard part. And you all are doing the hard work. I'm just the messenger. I am just the messenger. Love these. Thank you from, was it Missouri? Is that what I said? Oh, Festus, Missouri. There you go. Ah, here we go. She sent it. She attached another one so you get the idea. I love this, but I get the idea. But thank you for doing this. So now at least I know exactly what kind of stitch I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a straight up, probably a mattress stitch is what I think she did here. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. But that's because a mattress stitch will keep it nice and clean together. No extra stitches. Yes. And they're going to be nice and warm because it's going to be, this is dense. These, all of these stitches are very dense. Thank you, Deva. Oh, and then some really pretty little minis here. Love them. Okay. Thank you, Deva. All right. Moving on to our next grouping. All right. This package is coming to us from... Diane Bramwell from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Fredericksburg, Virginia. Thank you, Diane. Okay. Oh! Woo, beautiful. Oh. And look, okay, look how nice and neat they pack in the box. Isn't that great? Oh my God, I love that. Love these. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, love the purples. Love this yarn. Mmm, it speaks Provence to me. 
And then tying in with the browns is beautiful. Yes, I love these. Ooh, more. So I think we decided that when they're about this size, because I'm thinking this is like a six inch square, 42 of them, six rows of seven across, or I think it's six, seven across by six rows. So 42 squares is what makes a full blanket. Um, you know, and if we need to add in a few more, we can. Then depending on the stitch that I use, if it's going to be a bigger blanket, I'll use a smaller stitch, like a mattress stitch. If I think maybe it needs a little bit of extra width, then I'll do like the join around as you go. I'll give it a little bit of extra stitch. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, like thirty-two. So we might need a few more, but pretty close. These are beautiful. I love the variegation. Love these colors, the blues and the greens. I don't know what kind of yarn she used, but I love them. Love these. And you know, we have some extra squares left over from one of the blankets that my mother finished um, that would tie in really nicely to these. The fabric might be a little different, the, the fiber content, but um, the colors are right in there. Yeah, right in there. Okay. Love these. Beautiful. Diane, thank you. And you all are so generous, but you all think it's a great cause. And I'm so thrilled that you agree with me that these are, I love these. All these colors go together so pretty. They're all going to be so different. And these people, they have no idea. I haven't said anything to any of the residents about, because there's one particular, there's a place that I work. Um, because I, I can't go bigger than like just the one place because it's, it's so much, but they have no idea. And so they're all going to get these beautiful blankets and we're going to wrap them in a big cellophane bag with a big red bow and we're going to distribute them so they can all open them at each, you know, at, you know, that they want and kind of exchange. Hopefully they're all going to be nice. They're going to be like, I want hers and do it. Okay, fine. Switch. Trade amongst yourselves. Be grateful. No, they're actually beautiful, beautiful people. I love these, Diane. Thank you so much. I'm going to take them out of the box and I'm going to move them into a plastic bag. Just FYI. Love these. Love them. All right. Recently, okay, here's our last box for this week. This comes from Arrington in Waynesville, North Carolina. I don't know the first name, but thank you, Ms. Arrington. Maybe there's a card inside. Probably there is. Okay. Don't wanna, I'm gonna be very careful when I cut into these because you don't wanna cut into the, oh, yay. Oh, okay, perfect. I see she told me what she used. She used some Hobie yarn, which, love that. Oh, it's a good thing I worked out. Oh. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. Look at the packing all in the styrofoam. Woo. Love that. Thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh. I swear you guys, I just get blown away every time I open a box, every single time. The generosity kills me. This says Kimberly and Mumsy. So my mom watches the videos. So now she's going to be like, hmm, they smell good too. Aw. So she, mom, look, you got a card too. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, thank you. Yeah. So now we have to build an emoji for her. And now she's very excited about all of this. You happy up the world. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, and here's another one. Oh, I might cry on this one. This says best mom. Oh, it says Kimberly's mom. Thank you for giving your time to help Kimberly and showing the love to the new residents. I am going to cry. I'm totally going to cry. Ah. Oh. Really, you all, this... This project really just touches me. And when I open these boxes and and I see what you send and I see how, like, what speaks to my heart speaks to your heart. 
it's just, it's really, it's really overwhelming. So I just have to thank you. Really, really thank you <sighs> for having a heart for these people like I do and watching these videos and connecting with me and now my mom and my husband. Um, it just, it just blows me away. It really, really does. So I just have to thank you. Oh, you're going to make me mess up my makeup now. All right, this card says, you happy up the world. And it says, Kimberly, first let me say I love your channel. Thanks, make me cry all over again. I just moved my mom into an assisted living, so I know how hard it is on them. Thank you to your mom and the Brit for brains for taking on this challenge. You are an angel and sending extra blank cards in case you need them. Sincerely, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. And she did. She sent... Oh, here's a welcome home card. The little hearts and stars on them. And it says, hello. Oh, this is going to go with the blanket. I hope this blanket brings you warmth and comfort. Please know you are loved and appreciated. Sending prayers and for special blessings, Debbie. Oh, y'all, I swear. Thank you. And then she sent all these extra little cards. Oh, my God. And they're even like, you guys are just too much. Oh, the love. I can't, I can't even, you know, it really, I don't know. I guess it just kind of blows my mind that these are, I mean, we're strangers, but I don't feel like we are, you know, like you guys watch this channel and you connect with whatever it is that I'm doing that I'm, that we, we now, cause it's now the three of us, my mother and my dad and my husband, the Brit, not my dad. Um, you guys connect with this. And, and so I feel connected to all of you, even though I don't get to meet you. <sighs> all right. Anyways. Okay. Debbie, let's get into what you sent. And they're beautiful. Premier Color Fusion DK 100% acrylic using a formula meter hook. This is great. Thank you so much. I don't have to do any guessing. I know exactly what she did. These colors are beautiful. Love these. Premier Fusion. Come here, color fusion. I might actually have that. And if I don't, Brit, it's happening. I'm just telling you, I might have to buy more. These colors are absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, yeah. love them. And I love the feel of this yarn. It's really soft and dense, but not too fuzzy. It's beautiful. And y'all kind of called in with the, all of this I opened today, kind of came in with the same colors. You know, the muted, and then what Deva did over here. Not that I'm going to mix them, but they all came in. And these are beautiful. Love the dense fabric. Love that. So beautiful. Oh, and then these are a little bit bigger. So let's put these back in the bag. Ooh, these are pretty. These are using Hobie Fantasy 100% acrylic using a 5 millimeter hook. Love it. Love. Oh, these colors. Pumpkin. Autumn. Love these. So, and it's so soft. I love, I have a lot of Hobie yarn. I don't know if I have this one. Fantasy. Mm. But I love Hobie. So I'm actually, while we're on this trip, we're going to try to do some lives. I just don't know like what our circumstances are going to be, what the internet is going to be like, what the time difference is going to be. So I'm just apologizing up front. We're going to do the very best we can. We're definitely going to do some lives, at least of Mumsy and I. I just don't know like the where's and the when's, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but I have done recently because a lot of you were saying like, well, I don't, you know, they don't ship to my country. Or whatever. So I'm doing a whole series on unboxings, but then we're like touring around some of the websites. So we're doing one with Lion Brand, We Crochet, Love Crafts, which is out of England. So they ship all over Europe and over here as well. Uh, Yarn Spirations and Hobie. I think those were the five that I did. So you'll see those coming up as well as I'm starting a summer bag tutorial. Um, I might only get to publish one of those while we're gone, but that's okay. Um, and we're making these market bags. Um, so simple. If you haven't made these before, we're doing a tutorial on making these market bags that you can take using 100% cotton. So doing some of the Lion Brand um, kits. So that's what we're doing while we're gone. And then, of course, we're going to be throwing in some lives. So this one, she says, Brand, I don't know. 
baby 100% acrylic. Okay, that's okay. So the baby, uh, Bernat's does a really nice baby yarn at Karen's, but that's fine. That's fine. So this is using a 4.5 millimeter hook, 100% acrylic. Oh, that's just these guys. Okay, so that just goes with these guys here. I understand. These are Brava 100% acrylic. Love these. Love the greens. Okay. So mix, yeah, this is definitely a blanket in the making right here. I just love the solid square. I just do. I mean, I love everything you guys are doing, the swirls, the hexagons, the flowers. This says, uh, oh, okay. So just FYI, on the back of these, I have to mention, um, it says the greatest casualty is being forgotten. And it says what, ha, ways to support America's wounded heroes. So these are like little notepads that she must have had. Start a conversation. Don't only thank your veterans. Ask them to share their stories. See if there's anything they can do to help. You can do to help. Offer a ride. Many veterans, including older veterans and those with physical injuries, may need your help with transportation to medical appointments, VA hospitals, even getting to and from the store. Write or call a veteran you know and include a note of gratitude. I love that. And some of them, actually, I think several of the residents in this assisted living are veterans. I know for a fact that they are. So how lovely. Love these. These speak like lemon, lime, and Sprite and Summer to me. And I've got some beautiful summer um, squares that are happening over there. Love that. All right. One last little bag. Then I'm going to show you the whip that I finished for my brother-in-law. And the Brit's going to be modeling it. What? Cheese. All right, this is Yarnspiration, 100% acrylic, a 5.5 millimeter or a 6 millimeter hook. Everybody has Yarnspirations, and I just talked about them. Um, love this, 100% acrylic. Love these colors. So I could easily, if I don't have this in my stash, and I'm pretty sure I probably do. The Brit is loving this, by the way, because I'm using up some of my stash yarns. I always love these colors together. Love all of these colors together. Oh, and you did these great little notes for each one. So I'm keeping the notes and the squares together so I know exactly what goes what. It's very organized. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, thank you. I had the three Ds today. I had Dava, Diane, and Debbie. How fun is that? All right, this is Mary Maxim Glimmer. 90% acrylic, 3% other, 5, 5 millimeter hook. The other is always the little blingy part. The polyamide, or they call it the other, or whatever. And these are beautiful, beautiful purples and glitters. I love that. So many of you have come in and said, I've just put my mother or my father or my parents into an assisted living home, so I get it. So this seems to really like ring true to so many of you. Like, yeah, I, I under or or you volunteered or you worked in these facilities, so you absolutely get it. This is a beautiful yarn, Karen, 100% acrylic, 4.5 millimeter hook. It's oh, your work is so precise. It's beautiful, very light. Oh, I love these. It just has this really nice, airy, elegant feel to it. These granny squares, y'all, are just amazing. White Naco colors, Karen Simply Soft, 100% acrylic. White Naco colored centers and black. Okay, so white Naco must be the center color. It's kind of a purple. And then, and black. Okay, and then here's a green. Love it. Burgundy. So some of these can make like a nice centered pattern as well. And this is white, Nako, pink, question mark. I love that. Dark blue, Lion Brand, Wool Ease. Oh, I definitely have some of that stuff. Love them. Yeah. Uh, Lion Brand Basic Stitch, 100% acrylic. Love these. I have this, but I think it's, um, I think it's the Heartland. But I do have some basic stitch. I have it in the navy, and I think I have it in some ecru. Beautiful. You guys, really, I can't. I just, and we're going to keep on with this. We're going to keep on with this. As a matter of fact, I was going to say halt sending the, the squares because we're going to be gone. 
But my son's going to be um, coming down and staying at our house a couple times just to check on things. So I'm giving him instructions to go to the um, P.O. box and pick up the squares. So you can go ahead and keep sending them if you'd like. Otherwise, if you want to hold off till the end of July when we return, you can do that too. But if you've already put them in the mail, that's fine. Um, you know, we'll be having someone pick them up because the postal annex guy might, you know, he might pop a sprout. He might like pop something and I don't want that to happen. He's a very nice man. Very nice man. He's like, you get more packages than anybody. I wonder why. Because I have the best people in the world in my corner who ha are so generous in spirit and heart. And y'all people, yeah, people are just accepting packages. But my people are amazing. All right. That's that for now. Thank you guys for the beautiful Deva. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Diane. Love these from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Deva is from Fettus, Missouri. And Diane is from somewhere in North Carolina. McManaville? Mc... No. Waynesville. Waynesville, North Carolina. Thank you. Before I bring the Brit in, I did want to show you this join as you go technique that I am using on these granny squares. Because I want you to, you know, like, like, is she really putting them together? I'm really putting them together. I have a lot. Anyways, um, these were some squares that came in like a week or so ago. Um, and I loved them because it had all of the, the pretty yellows and coming along. And I knew I had this skein of purple. Um, this is Pound of Love by Lion Brand, and it's kind of like a purple heather. Um, but I saw these squares and I was like, mm, I know exactly what I'm going to do with those, which is this join as you go. And that's basically how it works. This is a really cool technique, and I'm thinking this is a great way to try it out. But basically, you it's one big piece and you crochet them all together. So... I'm working on this. If you're interested in this technique, there's some great YouTube videos and I'll include a link below in the notes here. If you're like, hey, I got some granny squares. I want to do this join as you go. But this is how it is. Basically, you start at one end. So you start, if you're right-handed, you start on the right-hand side. If you're left-handed, you go the opposite direction. But basically, you just join. And so this is it. And then you go along here, you go along here, and it works up really, really fast. Um, so I went all the way along the bottom, right? Then you start adding in the other squares. Now, I think what's going to happen, as you can see here, actually, I'm showing you the back side. I should show you the front side. Um, what I think is going to happen is, so it goes all the way across like so. And then when you start building into that next row up here, you're going to go down across here, down one side, connect to the other side and up. So you kind of do, and you're doing one of these. Anyways, but I just wanted to show you, I'm really loving, I love the purple and how it's tying in with the yellow because it's bringing in the purples as well. Um, so, and it's, oh my gosh, it's so fast. It works up so fast. I think I did these like one night sitting watching TV and then I was getting a little lost on um, bringing in, coming you know, connecting in the corners. So I thought, ee, dee, 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 dee. I'll wait. Anyways, um, but this is one of the welcome home granny squares that is just doing the join as you go kind of a thing. And then when you're all done, you come down the other side. Literally, you join one time. You you have to um, weave in your ends, like two ends, and that's it. So just wanted to show you that. Now, would you like to meet the Brit? I don't know that he's ever been on camera. You guys see the emojis, you see all the magic he does, the fire breathing dragon and my baby girl Molly, you know, flipping around and all that stuff. But I don't know if you've ever actually met him in person. So let's see if he's around, shall we? Oh, Britt, where art thou? There he is. Welcome, this is the Brit. This is the sweater that I have made for my brother-in-law. Ooh, such a good model you are. So this is using the herringbone stitch. Bring it in a little bit closer so people can actually see the stitch. So you can see here the herringbone stitch. Isn't that lovely? It is a half double crochet 
a little bit of a funky thing, you kind of yarn over the first one. And then I just did the ribbing here on the sleeves to give it a little bit of that elastic look. This is using the Upcycled Alpaca by We Crochet. Love, love this stuff. It's $9.99 a skein, a ball, but it's currently on for $5 and it's been that way for a while, so we should be good. And then I did a little bit of a shawl collar here across the top. Bring it on in there. So you can see the shawl collar, a little bit of the ribbing there. Yeah. And uh, now the pattern, I'll include a pattern. Basically, it's just for the measurements because it called for cables and do, 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 ah, the cable's not working so much. So, but I really like this. I love how this herringbone kind of gave it a really nice little bit of a textured design and then show them the cute backside of you. Isn't he so cute? Yeah. So really loving how this all managed. And then I did the ribbing down here at the bottom. So this is going to be for the brother-in-law. Hopefully he's going to like it. Thank you, Brett. All right, well, there you have it. So we are still working on our granny squares, our welcome home project. Finished that uh, work in progress just in enough time to take it over to the UK. I'm gonna have probably one more little podcast before we leave because y'all were so positive and so encouraging on my plan for my dress for um, the pink concert. That yarn is supposed to be arriving, I think, like in the next day or so. So I got to do at least one more podcast to show you what my plan is for this um, pink dress, literally pink dress. All right. But that's all I have for this week. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And thank you for the granny squares, your generosity, your heart, your love overwhelms me really, truly. So thanks so much for watching. If you just joined today, I am so glad that you're here. We love having you here. Spread the word, share us with a friend, let us know. You're going to see the Brit occasionally, you know, sometimes you see the emojis, that's okay. And you're probably going to be seeing Mumsy because apparently now, whether she likes it or not, she's a part of this as well. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you get all the notifications of everything that we're doing, all of our travels, everything we've got going on. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. And as always, I'll see you soon.